you will like you will like this video this is a good video the celtic cross yes declared a hate symbol by the southern poverty law center which shows what morons they are to begin with the celtic cross the quadrant the circle now i wrote about it in the druid code and the sum look it's a lot of it is speculative but there's actual real history we can tap into also that can give us clues. Now, I think the most ridiculous one I ever heard was that it's a, yeah, it was a sextant, a sextant or for guiding Celtic ships to the New World. And uh, it, it wasn't. That's just something, that's like, that's your British Israelism again. You know, it has to be kind of like made into something that modern Presbyterians can relate to. But it's not that was not what it was at all. I mean, I'm 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 totally get, I'm totally for anyone doing their own thing and exploring things. But this, the sex and thing was ridiculous. Now, uh, let's talk about the Celtic cross. Now, now the Celtic cross, you, you know, you know, it's this the circle with the the four quadrants. Okay, uh, the, the what they call the Celtic high cross. Is that mounted upon a tall plinth, like a long, a long thing? Now, uh, the Celtic cross is part of a universal lineage going right back to ancient times, and the proof of that is Cairn T at Loch Crew, a five thousand year old passage chamber, which has a Celtic cross lying down on the ground. Uh, so the symbol has been always been central to the spiritual traditions of the West. For as long as we can remember, there's ancient ones of rock art all over the place, or very similar designs, the quadrant circle. This is why it's also made its way into things like alchemy and Jungian psychology, because it's a universal archetype that appeals to something within us that reminds us of our state as human beings in the world now how it became so prominent in irish culture uh, irish celtic culture is a really fascinating story the, the the druids were a canny bunch they infiltrated the catholic the early christian church and uh, they basically rewired it on these islands and in places like france in and in Iberia, northern I northwest Iberia to to uh, I wouldn't say corrupt it, but the kind of modify it. So like the video I made yesterday about the uh, Santa Morte, it was almost like the first version of folk Catholicism, the incorporation of the pagan way of thinking into the Christian fold. Now when when the when the first early Christian sites were laid out in Ireland, they were nearly always built on previous Druidic Druidry sites and these temples. So that meant often in woodlands and the clearing of groves. Now, they would also have hills. And if you look at the measurements of these hills, these ring forts and these circular enclosures in Britain and Ireland, anywhere... They were always divided among the four quadrant points, north, south, east and west. And each quarter had a specific spiritual meaning. Now this originally derives, this is called the Etruscan measurement or the Etruscan division. And because the earliest formal uses of it was among the Etruscans and then it was adopted by the Romans and the rest. And eventually the Gauls and the Celtic peoples of Europe adopted it from the Romans. You see, we have this thing that these tribes and these people all lived in a hatred of each other. And everything that the other one did was always devil craft. That's an Abrahamic mindset. These people were pagans. And if the Celts, Celtic people saw something the Romans do, did, did that they thought they could use, and that included spiritual archetypes such as, you know, Minerva uh, adopting, being adopted into the Celtic pantheon, then they would use it and the same thing with the romans this 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 notion of them the romans built a lot of their celtic their roman roads on all celtic roads and so this is a you know this is they were not sort of like oh what they do is the work of the devil because they were polytheistic pagans they would see 
another way of doing things as just another way of doing things and maybe there was something useful in it just like the way the romans adopted basically greek and etruscan culture and called it roman so when the celtic priests came to set set out the the the, the early the druid like the Chaldees, to set out say the cashels the circular enclosures that like there's a lot they're all over aren't they would do them according to the four quadrant points using the Etruscan method, and uh, they would have not have they would and they would have known it was the Etruscan method. Why? Because it sits in perfectly with the concept of the four corners of the world, the four quadrant points, the four locations of man, that you know, the right arm, left arm, left leg, right leg. Now you would say, what about the head? The head was not seen as part of the four quadrants because it was seen as the mystical world outside it. The head was seen as the seat of the soul. The head was where you had your dreams. The head was where you had your insights. Your head was where you had your thoughts. Uh, they believed your feelings originated from in your head. Your head was like a, the operating software. Uh, so it was not in is not in the reality of the four quadrants. And when they set up the circular enclosures in the four quadrants, the inner sanctum, the temple, in the middle, uh, would be, or the tempal in Irish, in the middle, was the sort of the head of the, of the, of the sacred religious site. And there, that's the that's the whole point of when the Celtic cross became into things like Jungian psychology, uh, the four the four the four feelings the the four the the you know the 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 uh, the aspects of the psyche were all combined with individuation at the very center of the cross, the head, the individualized the individualized person was eventually to move along the four quadrants of the cross towards the fulfillment of life at the middle when you would reach your state as a you know a senex as a, as a completed a, a wise old man so at the you're constantly moving you start out here's an immature you to, and then you move towards the center and this so the, the all these the celtic cross is one of these things that originates from outside the human condition it's almost again it's an archetype like in a, and the swastika was the same thing too the four quadrants also divisions inside of that and like if i even to this day if i go camping or hiking or i sit down to set a fire up or to eat something i will always be facing towards the the east if i can always though and the reason the the face towards the in our in Ireland houses are always faced towards the east the the beginning of the day light the rising of the sun the embracing of the new birth and the same thing and if i when i've t tried to work if i'm writing or something i always i try to face to the east and the four quadrants are i'm very aware of the four quadrants around me and how they relate to me and this is a a very a very healthy and very clever way to live uh, because you're automatically transfixed from that point on within that culture a that mindset you're already hardwired into the earth and the cosmos the relationship between the celestial objects and the planet and you so you're already in the zone as such and that's where that all came from with these these celtic priests and they taught that, that when these like uh, christian troglodytes came out of the desert in syria to smash statues by the time they reached the celtic world they were basically being civilized by celtic by by druids and uh celtic priests who were basically you know teaching them how not to be animals and how to uh how to be truly spiritual and that's how the there was a, a saint come i can't remember his pronounce his name probably coming uh, coming in uh it depends on if he is it Gaelic or or Latin, but he said something like the secrets of the world are not found within the Middle East, Rome, or Antioch. They're found within ancient Britain and Ireland, and that he basically saying was that it was these druids had infiltrated the Christian Church, and basically showed them how to be properly spiritual, and uh, of course that was all dissolved at the Synod of Whitby. A, f a few centuries later and then eventually the reformation came along but that's the that's the celtic cross the celtic cross is a very spiritual symbol it represents the relationship of the individual to the cosmos in terms of their psychology and their relation of the individual to the landscape and the world around them 
heading towards a completion of life as you move along the four quadrants into the center where you reach what Jung called individuation. And it's, that's why that symbol has endured and will endure. And these morons trying to call it a hate symbol, well, <laughs> it tells you more about them than anything else. See you. Take care.